Hi, this is Kip from IncubatorWarehouse.com and at the IncubatorWarehouse.com we get asked on a regular basis about thermostats. What thermostats are good for incubators, which ones are not, which ones we provide, what are the pros and cons of different thermostats, and what would be best for their individual situation. I'm going to talk about some different options that we have and talk about the pros and cons of them. First of all, you'll see here, this is called a wafer-style thermostat. This is what you'll find in the Hovabater 1602N model. The basic idea of this thermostat, it has two small wafers here that are filled with a gas that is very sensitive to temperature. So as the temperature increases, the gas expands, and these wafers will actually expand. And there's a small switch in there that, uh, let me undo this and I'll just demonstrate the switch as you as you screw this down and th th this would mimic the wafer expanding you screw it down you might hear a small click that is the switch that is inside this yellow part turning off and on turning the power on and off and that's what powers the heater very basic idea the gas inside is very sensitive to temperature and though this is a very old style thermostat, it's still around because it tends to work pretty well. The next style that we offer is a bimetal thermostat. This has been specially designed to be in the range of egg incubators. The full range from all the way low to all the way high is between 80 degrees and 105 degrees. So within that, you can have a good egg incubator range. Whether you're using this for reptiles or poultry, this suits your, the, your needs pretty well. Because it has a pretty tight range in temperature, it is sensitive enough to work in an egg incubator. A few things to be aware of is the, the two plates. The two plates will carry live voltage, so you'll want to have some kind of a covering, a wire mesh or some kind of a covering that will allow free-flowing air in and out and, and protect anything from touching it and getting shocked. These two leads will also be live and so you have to be careful to to have those protected. There is an option to buy this thermostat with a kit as well and it comes with the two wire leads as well as a control knob and the the nut that holds it into place. This nut comes with it whether you buy the kit or not. It also comes with a micro screwdriver so you can set the set screw onto this shaft. These leads hook on very simply just like this and like this and give you some good wires for connecting to your heater and uh, your power source. To get the best performance from this thermostat it is recommended that the fan be situated so the air is blowing directly onto this thermostat. What that does is it speeds up thermal transfer so this thermostat will respond even faster to the environment. The next thermostat I'm going to talk about briefly is one that is commonly found on eBay. You'll find it in different forms. People talk about the water heater thermostat and some people have discovered that uh, they can buy this at a local hardware store and they can use this water heater thermostat in an incubator. A few things to be aware of is that the temperature settings on this thermostat are not very sensitive. It's going to take a lot of tweaking to get it just right. Also, because it's designed for a water heater, it doesn't have to be very sensitive for that application. For an egg incubator, you want it to be very sensitive. This one's a little bit tricky to get sensitive enough for an incubator. And in some of our testing, we've seen the temperature range be anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees in the range from on to off. That's just too much for an egg incubator. Now, there are some little tricks you can try that will improve that um, but unless you, unless you want to do a lot of tweaking, a lot of trial and error, this is one that can be problematic. There are people that have had success with this, um, but you've got, to be able, you've got to be willing to do some tweaking and try a few tricks to make it work well for you. For only a few dollars more, you can use the bimetal thermostat, have better results, and it doesn't take as much tweaking. The next thermostat I'm going to show you is what you'll find in the Little Giant egg incubator. Little Giant touts their thermostat as an electronic thermostat, which it is. 
when you take when you take out the two screws that are on the top side of the incubator you can pull this off but before you do pay attention to the warning live voltage make sure you have this thing unplugged before you take the, this off when it's unplugged remove the screws you can pull this out and this is what you see a simple turning switch which adjusts the resistor inside and it controls this thermostat now it's electronic which means that circuitry does the switching on and off of the power it is not digital which means it does not have a digital display that small knob is what you get to adjust and that small LED light is what will indicate if the power is on or off. A very simple thermostat to operate. It's been very effective. The one downside of this thermostat, this turn knob only turns half a turn, which means you move it a little bit and your temperature can move a lot. So you have to be very careful about moving it just a tiny bit to get your temperature honed in just right for incubating eggs. That has been a little bit problematic for some people, whereas in the Hovabator wafer style, you can turn that knob quite away and only adjust the temperature a little bit. That can be helpful when you're trying to hone in the temperature right down to 99.5 degrees. The final thermostat I want to show you today is an exclusive product of incubatorwarehouse.com. This is an electronic thermostat, but it's also a digital thermostat. So you've got electronics inside that control the power on and off, and a nice digital display that tells you what your temperature is and what your set point is. The set point is your target, 99.5 for egg incubators. This comes preset to 99.5. It comes with simple, simple instructions on how to install it, how to hook up three simple wires. It comes with a nice remote probe that you can place in your incubator, uh, preferably in, in a very centralized location if you have an egg turner. Don't put this by the, the turner motor. Put it someplace near the center, away from the motor, in a place that would represent the temperature of your eggs. Very simple to operate. Very simple two-button operation. Comes with simple instructions. A nice benefit of this thermostat is that it has been specifically designed for egg incubators, which means it comes preset to 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also switch it to Celsius if desired. There is a 220 slash 240 volt version of this for people who want to use this in countries that use that voltage. And it has several features that make it very simple, very simple to operate. <clears throat> this probe is very sensitive. It will pick up very rapidly changes in temperature and turn the power on and off accordingly. It makes for a very steady temperature inside your egg incubator. Each of these thermostats can be found at incubatorwarehouse.com. You can find more information about them, with exception of the water heater thermostat. We show that to you to demonstrate an option, uh, but also want you to understand the pros and cons of that thermostat.